Hello, my name is Nitwit Rocketry, and today I'll be talking about Aerojet's M1 rocket engine, the engine that rivaled even that, the Saturn V's monstrous F1 engine. Now, you may know that the first stage of the USA's Saturn V rocket, powering men to the moon, was a set of five Rocketdyne F1 engines, but those engines were not the only ones proposed to help put men on the moon. The M1 rocket engine designed by the American manufacturer Aerojet was a supply to the U.S. Air Force's demand of a rocket engine that's kind had never before been created. The name of this project by the Air Force was the Space Launch System, or SLS for short, not to be confused as a current day SLS by NASA. The U.S. Air Force's need of a relatively enormous payload of 125,000 pounds or roughly 57,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit in the early 1960s made the vehicle for that payload relatively massive in size, while modern-day rockets such as Blue Origin's New Glenn only being able to bring uh, up just under 100,000 pounds or 45,000 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit. What the Air Force searched for far exceeded that of what was relatively normal for their time. Now, the specifications for such a massive rocket, the U.S. Air Force needed an engine powerful and efficient enough to replace the cluster of J-2 engines that were first proposed in the Nova series of rockets as a second stage. The reason they wanted an alternative to that cluster was the sheer complexity of having 12 individual engines in one massively powerful stage, this causing the U.S. Air Force to look for those alternatives. The Air Force tasked Aerojet with studies to find an alternative to the complex cluster by having a mere two engines opposed to the 12 that were proposed. But to reach the requirements to replace such a system would be challenging, with each of those J-2 engines having a thrust of 110,000 pounds or just short of 50,000 kilograms of thrust at sea level, with thrust more than doubling while in a vacuum, the combined thrust of those engines would be a, roughly a whopping 1.3 million pounds or almost 600,000 kilograms of thrust at sea level. While in a vacuum, producing about 2.8 million pounds of thrust. That means that those engines could lift 187 African elephants at sea level with room to spare. In the initial studies by Aerojet, they produced the design of the M1 rocket engine, utilizing liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as propellants. It was designed to have an approximate thrust of 1.3 million pounds. Just one of those proposed engines at this point of the design process contained about three-eighths of the thrust that the cluster of 12 J-2 engines would contain at near peak performance in a vacuum. The engine stood at roughly just over 25 feet or 7.7 .7 meters tall, while being about 14 feet or 4.28 meters in diameter. Compared to the F-1 engine, the M-1 engine was about 7.5 feet or 2 meters taller while having a diameter about 2.2 feet or 0.5 meters wider. But at this point of the design, the F-1 engine would still have made about 300,000 pounds or 136,000 kilograms of thrust over the M-1 engine. But with the design process not ending there, the M-1 engine's design was eventually set to be able to produce 1.5 million pounds of thrust, being on par with the famed F-1 engine. The eventual turbo pump upgrade added to the design caused the M1 to have a theoretical thrust of even 1.8 million pounds and a possible peak of about 2 million pounds of thrust or roughly 900,000 kilograms of thrust or about the weight of nearly 15 M1 Abrams tanks. The increased thrust and efficiency over the F1 engine that the M1 engine led that engine to be the baseline of many designs by NASA as well as the Air Force for being the engine that helped put men on the moon and quite possibly even beyond. Designs of it were even considered to be the second stage of a rocket in which could bring 1 million pounds to low Earth orbit for Mars or other interplanetary missions. All in all, the more favored design of the Saturn V using the F-1 engine would be picked up for all lunar rockets needing such a large powerhouse. While never being fully tested, had various parts tested for the design, the funding for the research involving the M1 engine officially ran out in 1966, but we are still left with the possibilities that the M1 rocket engine could have been. Thank you for watching. Fun fact, the M1 engine would have used the exhaust from its 75,000 horsepower turbo pump added into the skirt area, giving it an extra 28,000 pounds or 12,700 kilograms of thrust alone. This thrust would have been completely useless if they chose the route of the average gas generator cycle of just throwing these gases off board. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing,
commenting, or leaving a like. This video is the most effort I've ever put on any video, so your support would mean the world to me. If anything I said was factually wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a good day.